2021 was an active hurricane season. The Atlantic region had 21 named storms, nine hurricanes of sustained winds of 75 miles per hour and greater, and four major hurricanes of category three to five. Last year's hurricane season was the third most active Atlantic hurricane season on record and became the second season in a row and the third overall in which the designated 21 name list of storm names was exhausted. The forecasters at NOAA are predicting another well above average hurricane activity this year. With 19 named storms, nine hurricanes, and four major hurricanes. This year is the eighth straight Atlantic hurricane season, which produced at least one named storm before June 1st, the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season. Hurricane Agatha became the first hurricane of the 2022 season on Sunday as it spins over Mexico. Due to these early development of storms in May, there has been a push to officially change the commencement of the hurricane season from June 1st to May 1st. While the jewelry is still out on this decision, we however do not need to wait to begin our preparations. This hurricane season, more than any other season, early preparation is key. As we watch in shock the Ukraine and Russian war, we are also aware of the implications it is having on not just food supply chain, but other materials as well. In some cases, we are experiencing the shortages of items, and in other cases, we are experiencing the transportation issues. What does this mean for us in the context of preparation for the hurricane season. It simply means prices are likely to go up due to demand and some items are likely to be in short supply. A cliche that many of us are familiar with and which is most fitting in this context is early birds catch the most warmth. Therefore, starting your preparation now will allow you to get ahead of the game. Early preparation is the critical at all levels in the society. From the government leading by example to the private sector, non-profit or government organizations, civic groups, community groups, and you. Today is the day you should begin your preparation. Not next week or next month or when DDME announced a storm is projected to pass in the vicinity of the Tuxin Cays Islands. Start your preparation today. In conclusion, while the scientists have predicted an active hurricane season of 19 named storms, nine hurricanes of sustained winds of 74 miles per hour and four major hurricanes of sustained winds of 111 miles per hour or higher in other words categories three to five hurricanes it is also true that no scientists no meteorologists no department including the department of disaster management and emergencies or ddme nor i can tell you exactly when a storm will impact the Turks and Caicos Islands. But what we can tell you is that it is only a matter of time. This year, the scientists are also predicting that the Caribbean region is likely to experience a major hurricane. Let us remember the devastation and suffering that was caused by Hannah, Ike, Irma, and Maria in the TCI. Let us recall Hurricane Dorian that set over the Bahamas moving less than five miles per hour and producing over 20 feet of storm surge and leaving a trail 
of devastation behind. Let us remember that it only takes one storm to wreak havoc on our lives, to destroy our infrastructure, to erode our economic prosperity. Let us all be on a mission to always be ready for this year's hurricane season and beyond.